Anthony Mantello, Sam Selleck are both open about the steroid use. And they both have visual effects, side effects from steroids at a young age. Guys, what is up? It's your boy, Ajani Shreve. I have BB promos to tell like it is. Welcome back to Straight Talk with Shreve. I got to give you guys an apology. Um, one of my uh, one-time clients sent me a message and I really liked it. Thank you. And he was like, hey, Johnny, I don't want to, you know, step on your toes, but the video you did comparing yourself from doing, you know, being enhanced, not being enhanced, almost sounded like it was glorifying more of you being enhanced. And I was like, shoot, the, 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 go the goal of that video was to let you guys know the difference of someone, you know, the, the advantages someone has, you know, being on steroids. But again, like, and that's, and that's why there's, a, there's issues when it comes to speaking about these things because they're going to be interpreted a certain way from somebody someone wants to hear all the good things about steroids and hear the good things about steroids and what i said and that'll be the reason why they probably end up doing it which is not why i not that's not the goal so i appreciate that because you know this is another opportunity for me to talk about this because again i want to show you guys we got anthony mantello right here and um john bravo did a video on sam Selleck on steroids you know you know you see his skin and and I'm and here's the thing too, right? So I'm I'm not shitting on these guys at all. I like Anthony Mantello. Actually, when it comes down to, you know, bodybuilders and you know, influencers, YouTube, and a fan of Anthony Mantello, and I'm a fan of Sam Selleck, right? I gotta play Mantel like it is, Big Brother, Uncle, I don't know whatever it is, but here's why I have to do my due diligence, right? I have. You know, they say certain things like, look, when if you can get out of the game before you have serious issues, you're good. But if you're in the game still, I'm talking about like bodybuilding industry or your bodybuilding, and then you start having the thing, these things happen, like these side effects, and then you're, it's, it's already too late. So I'm trying to pre help prevent these things in some way, just with my experience. No, I haven't had any scares at all. Um, I definitely had signs. 100% I can, I could, I can, I can 100% tell you I had signs of hypertension before like two years ago when I was prepping you can literally take a take my finger and run it up my my shin and the my finger mark would stay in my shin like almost like an inch deep like nuts I remember it like you know and really not think of anything of it to be honest you know maybe just ignoring it you know right now it's like you know I look at my shins I'm like yeah look at these nice ass shins and no hypertension I'm healthier obviously but there are signs then if I kept on abusing steroids at that point if it's too late then it's too late so the question I have for you guys is how do we approach this do we give some people a pass because I'm having this conversation the other day with a friend and we're talking about bodybuilding and I'm like look man we can't screw like it's hard to say it's hard to go out and say don't do this don't do that certain ones growing up but when you look at it like how old was Arnold Schwarzenegger when he became a professional bodybuilder? 21? 20, I think, whatever. How old was Flex? Let's just fast forward to, to, you know, more of like, you know, modern day, present day. How old was Flex Lewis when he started? 21. I think it was natural. You know what I mean? So it's like, when you look at the sport, there were, you know, as it being a sport of like, you know, old, like an older man's sport, so to speak. Like your muscles don't really get mature until you're older and all that stuff. Right, yeah, there's a lot of bodybuilders who are older, but there are still those really good guys who left the mark and an influence. I'm not saying it's their fault. I'm not saying that at all. But my thing is, my question is, how do we approach this and say, hey, man, you know, how do you say to somebody, hey, I would avoid doing this, but they're like, but I want to be Flex Lewis. And a guy like, you know, Sam Selleck, who looks good, got a lot of muscle, probably could make a splash in the IBB one day. Who are we to say what's right and what's wrong? Or yes or no to certain things, what they can and cannot do. Hey, what's good people? Struggling to keep up with your routine or you feel like you're just spinning the wheels? Well, you came to the right place. Check out the link in the description below for my customized one-time training or nutrition plans. I'm also offering online coaching with weekly check-ins and unlimited contact with myself. And look, if you don't wanna dive in right away and you have some questions, book yourself a video call with myself. And at the end of the consult, I deduct off any package that you pick. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the show. My job is to, with my experience, show you my point of view. And we're looking at Anthony Mantello and Sam Selleck, just two people right now that are very popular. Anthony Mantello is under 25 years old. He's getting gyno surgery. 
regardless if he had Gano Clemencia from a previous from previous um, age or from years prior, steroids 100% enhanced or exacerbated those symptoms. If you look at Sam Selleck, look, man, bro, love you, but if you take your shirt off online, we get to comment about it. The shirt's off online, we can see the acne. Can we say that, you know, he just a young kid and he has acne? Yes, we can. But guess what? Steroids exacerbates that. So if you got male pattern, male pattern baldness in your family, guess what? You're getting it very quick. If you have oily skin and you have like zits or acne or whatever, and it's really bad, you start doing steroids, it's gonna get way worse. You have anything before you start doing steroids that steroids can affect in a negative way or exacerbate the symptoms, it's going to happen. So my last video I did on myself was not necessarily say like, oh, look what, what it did for me. I was like, Superman, I'll tell you right now, my videos I put out about me prepping for this show are behind. They're like, they're not behind, but like they're, I'm putting out old stuff. So you don't really see my actual conditioning. I said to my client today, I'm like, you know what's crazy? I wish I knew, I wish I approached my bodybuilding career like I did this year. Like I've been showing you guys how I train. I've been showing you guys my life. The amount of work I've been doing has not saying has been hard work. It's just more efficient. But what I can, pro I can promise you right now that's making this prep the easiest, the absence of any, any kind of enhancement. I can say that right now. I feel tired because obviously when you diet and you're eating less calories, you feel tired. But the overall experience I'm having, mental health, how my body feels physically, like I'm talking like, there's a difference between feeling like intoxicated and like clean. And I'm not, I'm not saying this to jump on anybody and, and be like, ah, there you, you toxic bastards. Nah, it's not that. I'm saying my experience. The feeling that I feel of not feeling like I'm toxic. And y'all bodybuilders out there know exactly what I mean. You know what I mean? That feeling is amazing. The, the feeling I get when people say, Johnny, man, there's no way you're 40 years old, man. You look really young. I'm like, yo, man, black don't crack. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Joking. But really though, that does stroke my ego. It strokes my ego because I know that coming off has allowed me to look better like when it comes to looking better people are trying to say healthier every time someone comments about how i look and they say man you look you look so much better i know what they're saying they, they literally are they're saying you look better they're saying like almost like hey it looks like you got healthier literally like when if you get sick you get the flu and you and you see somebody like oh man you look so much better they like they're, they're referring to you healing getting past some type of virus or, I don't know, progressing past some kind of sickness. That's a comment I get. And that's common of validation that I made the right decision. I'm not saying that you who are doing it right now are making a wrong decision. It's your life. Do as you please as long as your life is not hurting somebody else's. Do what you want. But understand there are risks. Anthony Mantello and Sam Selleck are both open about the steroid use. And they both have visual effects side effects from steroids at a young age i want to use them as an example just because they're putting this stuff out there and i'm really glad they are um, i'm really glad they are doing that because for anthony Mattel to call and say that that's brave number one because he's gonna get scrutinized 100 by the judge the judgmental freaks out there the keyboard warriors but he needs to say that because he's not glorifying he's like hey man by the way i gotta have to get gano surgery and even though i had gano before Steroids definitely added to that. That is a, Anthony Mattel, I'm still one of your biggest fans, legit. But guys, I just wanna bring this to you guys. Understand this, there are risks. You have to decide whether or not is the risk worth the reward. Anyway guys, let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below and let's keep it classy. Anyway guys, until next time, you know how it is, Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.